We're terrified that COVID-19 will attack the wild chimpanzee communities around, around Africa. As their habitat is invaded more and more by humans, they're susceptible to our contagious diseases. I mean, we have chimps in sanctuaries, ones whose mothers were shot, mostly for bushmeat, or rescued from the trafficking. We can protect them. We can close the sanctuary to visitors, we can have the staff quarantined and the food sterilized, all that sort of thing. But in the wild, what can you do? But we now know that there are good mothers and less good mothers in chimp society. And the good mothers are those who are, well, they have to be affectionate and protective, but not overprotective. But the key thing is supportive. And that's how I was lucky. My mother supported my mad idea of going to Africa when everybody else laughed at me. When I got to Africa, you know, it was just towards the end of the British colonial rule in Tanzania. And the men were understandably sort of a little bit angry with white men, but a white girl. And I was just, you know, this defenseless, quiet, just wanting to go in a strange way into the forest. They helped me. And I think being a woman actually benefited me. First real milestone, once I got the chimps to trust me, they kept running away to begin with, was seeing the one I named David Greybeard, seeing him using and making tools to fish for termites. Because up until that time, Western science thought humans and only humans used and made tools. You know, a lot of these thing questions which to me are the most fascinating. How do chimps differ in different environments? To, to how many cultures are there? We'll not find out because we're losing the chimps so fast. So they're losing their cultures with them.